the snakes finally come out of his hole. Are you ready now, my brother? Why are you calling me brother? Who the hell are you? I'm you! I'm your shadow! What? Ask the father that you killed! I'll send you to hell to meet him! <laughs> Thank you.
snake. The elevator's working. You fixed it? No, that's the weird thing. It just moved by itself. It's headed your way now. Is that so? Okay. That explosion before, what was it? Oh, I had to take out that helicopter. Helicopter? That's incredible, Snake. Listen, I just want to make sure again. This is the way to get to where Metal Gear is being stored. Yeah. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is towards the back of the snowfield ahead. Okay. Find a safe place to hide out for a while. I'm going underground. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. And stay out of my way. Don't try to be a hero or anything. Okay. Call me if you need to. Snake, there's something I forgot to tell you before. What? There were five stealth camouflage prototypes in my lab. Yeah, so? If you take out the one I'm wearing, that leaves four. Hey, this isn't first grade math class. I thought I'd get one for you, so I went back to the lab and... Yeah? The four suits were missing. Also, about the elevator that I checked out, it's really strange. It was like someone was intentionally holding it. When you were riding on it, did the weight limit warning go off? That's another thing that bothered me about it. The warning went off, and I know I couldn't be over the limit. How much do you weigh? About 135. But that elevator had a weight limit of 650 pounds. It would take at least five people to go over that limit. Look out, Snake! The guys who stole my stealth prototypes are in there with you.
Snake, are you okay? Otacon, were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's shooting at me in the middle of this blizzard. <gasps> it's her! Wolf? Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. Otacon, you sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please. She's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. That woman isn't as sweet as you think. I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> I told you, I'd never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf! No, you can't! Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see? Women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this! Snake, I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal her location. You think so? Well, a message from me is a message from death. If I'm close, you will know death is close. Please, Wolf! Snake! No! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'll pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start.
I... I've waited for this moment. I am a sniper. Waiting is my job. Never moving a muscle. Concentrating. <coughs> I am long shot. You cannot save me. Please, just finish me quick. I am a Kurd. I have always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. A Kurd? So that's why you're called Wolf. I was born on a battlefield. Raised on a battlefield. Gunfire, sirens and screams. They were my lullabies. Hunted like dogs day after day. Driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I'd stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then, he appeared. My hero, Saladin. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean Big Boss? I became a sniper. Hidden. Watching everything through a rifle scope. Now I could see war not from the inside, but from the outside, as an observer. I watched the brutality. The stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. But I have shamed myself and my people. I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. Now, I am nothing more than a dog. Wolves are noble animals. They're not like dogs. In Yupik, the word for wolf is Keglanek, and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true, we're all for sale for some price or another. But you're different, untamed, solitary. You're no dog, you're a wolf. Who are you? Are you Saladin? Wolf, you spared Meryl's life. Even when I'm just an onlooker, I don't like to see women or children get hurt. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. A man like you. You're a hero. Please, set me free. Why? Why? I loved you. What is it? My gun. Give it to me. She is part of me. Yeah. 
Everyone is here now. Okay, hero. Set me free. Goodbye. Snake, you said that love could bloom on a battlefield. But I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. <laughs> Protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. Don't lose the codec. I'll be behind you all the way. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Okay. I'll be searching too. <laughs> <laughs> 